you're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make text shake. So basically, if you want to have like an awesome outro, like says like subscribe here, and you want to spice it up with like some music and some, some cool effects and you know, like shaking text, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have Vegas open as always. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add in some text. So we're going to click on media generators as always. And then we can click on titles and text. You want to drag that into your timeline and you want to type in the text that you want to shake so let's say you want to have like subscribe or something so we can just type in subscribe and now we're gonna make it a little bit bigger of course so we're gonna select it and we can just gonna drag it a little bit taller let's like pick out a cool font let's see cool fonts that's the cool font so we're gonna close this out so the thing to make it shake is it really easy so you just want to drag it as actually as long as you want it so let's say like drag it to here now the part of making the text shake is actually pretty easy so you want to click on this little icon which says track motion you want to click on that and then this window pops up so we want to drag it a little bit you know below it so, so we can still see our text and so we're going to work with keyframes and basically um, I'm going to show you guys what keyframes are basically I'm just going to put it right here so I make it a little bit bigger this little timeline at the bottom so let's say you want to have your keyframe number one still and you want to have like right here and you want to have your text rotated if you play it back it just rotates as you can see that's what it does to make it shake we're just going to make really short keyframes and put them in different positions so they so it goes crazy right so i'm going to click back on this icon i'm going to just um, delete that little keyframe so and here we start so you can choose how many space there is between um, keyframes so you can like adjust the speed of the shaking but I'm going to show you guys how to do it okay so let's start off we want to start off with the first keyframe which is already in here and we want to just want to click on the next one right here or something and then we just want to rotate our text like a little bit so it's going to rotate like that and then what you want to do so we have one keyframe you want to put it to the right as you can see we want to have like an arrow um, like one space between actual keyframes so I'm just going to put the so I'm going to just uh, press on the uh, right arrow key that means that we have like this small space in between you can choose you know the, the distance so that's actually adjusts the speed let's say we want to have you see like this we want to turn it a little bit more like that and you just want to just click on the keyframe one to the right as you can see we just want to rotate a little bit more we're going to click on it right of course then we want to actually like go back we're just going to click it okay boom like that again click on it one space to the right it's like really boring work if you want to have a decent outro you need to put like decent work into it so it's not something you can fix in like one minute as you can tell so i'm just gonna uh, continue by rotating this so you guys can see it so you're going to put it like this and then you want to click on it again one to the right we'll like put it almost back straight like that click on it again okay so we made this little we made this text shaky as you can see by the keyframes but as you can see it's like really short and if you want to skip all the work you can just hold control and you can click on any keyframe and as you can see they get filled in that means they're selected we just want to press on every keyframe every single one what you want to do is press ctrl c that that copies it so you just want to click on this one one space to the right press ctrl v go to the last one one space to the right copy paste as you can see we just copy paste and you see all those keyframes that can that can take that can take like a half an hour to do one of them so just go to the last one go to the last one this one Press one space to the right, control V, and let's see how it actually looks, how our text is shaking. So let's see what we made. So our text is shaking, as you can see, but it's really short. So you really have to just go back on this little white icon. Um, you just want to go back, go back to your keyframes right here, as you can see. Copy paste them because like you need to for like 20 to 30 seconds you really need to copy and paste this a lot so you just want to spend like five to ten minutes doing this instead of like an hour doing them one one at a time so just copy paste as you can see uh, right here click on the last one one space to the right control v click on it space to the right control v and now it's going to be a little bit longer so we're going to see how it looks 
So that's actually pretty cool. So you can move the text from left to right. Basically, that's it for this video, guys. So if you find this video helpful and you want to see more of those Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, that's 9 p.m. CET, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. Feel free to subscribe down below for more videos. Yeah, you can go ahead and use keyframes to make your text go from left to right. You can choose whatever you want. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for our next tutorial. Until then, I'll see you guys very soon. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to add a watermark to your video. So let's say you have a really awesome video and you think people can or want to steal your video, you need to, know, to upload it, to re-upload it and then, you know, take credit for it or whatever. So I'm just going to show you guys how to add in a watermark for your video so that, you know, that's so... So that's just against, you know, all the people that want to copy your videos or whatever. So like say, like, I'm going to, Alex's video has, one video has like 600,000 views. Uh, I'm going to download it and I'm going to upload it to YouTube and I'm going to, I take credit for it. So that is what I'm going to show you guys today, like how to add a watermark so that people can copy your, your video or whatever. So basically watermark is basically a logo that's like actually like, maybe like burned into the actual uh, video file so you can you know photoshop it out or whatever so there are a lot of different you know forms of watermarks you have logos you have well, icons text whatever so i'm just going to use text it's just my name in, in, in on the screen so people can copy it well, at least you know i get credits because it says my name so if you have a if you have an icon you can just drag that in and drag with the opacity and stuff but i'm going to show you guys how to add in a watermark which you're using text so without further ado let's jump right into it so as you can see i have a random clip uh, from footage uh, for myself. What we're going to do for text is we're going to click on media generators. We're going to go to titles and texts and we want to drag that on top of our actual track. And then this window pops up and this is th the, the place where I am going to type my name. So let's say Alex Halford. Let's put, let's take another font. Let's see um, which is a good one. This is a good one. Okay, so as you can see right here, that is it going to be a little bit bigger. You can you can choose how big your watermark is. So I'm just going to put it like this, and I'm going to put it like right here or something. And I'm going to close this out. And basically, if you want to have like for for the entire video, you just want to drag it from the beginning to the end, so the watermark is on the whole video. And what you want to do now is you want to like give outlines. So you can do whatever you want. To customize it, you want to just only click on this little icon which says generate media, and then you can just customize it with like outlines and shadows and all kinds of stuff. For the sake of this video, to keep it relatively short, I'm just gonna um, show you guys how to put the water watermark in it. And you say, like, this is just a piece of text uh, at the corner of the video. But the thing is, you just want to thing is, you want to click on the text layer and you want to go over with your mouse this yellow line which says opacity. You want to hold your mouse and you want to go down which drags the opacity. That's how you want your text to be. So this is like too much, but you know, completely down, you won't see anything. So let's say we want to have a watermark. It's tip sometimes, like most times it's something, you know, like this. Um, just, yeah, it depends on what kind of video it is, like a prank or something. You know, there's like saying like Roman Atwood, you know, in underneath this video. So this that's just, you know, a watermark. I would say like, you want to go for opacity, um, like maybe like 25%. That's actually a good, um, opacity for your watermark. You can even, you know, if you want to, you can stretch it out over the entire screen. I can show you. You want to click on this little icon, this white one that will um, move the whole track. So let's say we have a square. We want to zoom out a little bit. We're going to put it like this, like that, like really tall. And then we can, like, you know, make it not even taller, like this. And then you, want to, you just want to twist it, as you can see. Um, and then you know it says my name and it's going to be it's going to it's going to look like weird with that watermark but that's the only way you can protect um your content from being copied and stolen or whatever and uploaded on another channel that's how simple it is guys you can do this with logos icons whatever um so if you want to see more of these tutorials every wednesday at 12 p.m p.m 9 p.m ct uh, feel free to subscribe down below and if you find this video helpful feel free to leave a thumbs up down below it's always appreciated and as I always say thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next wednesday for a new tutorial so until then i'll see you guys very soon Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex and today I'm going to show you guys how to install fonts. So let's say you're not satisfied enough with fonts that already that came with your computer and you want to have like some more custom uh, kind of fonts. I'm going to show you guys a website how to and download and install for free. That's what I'm going to show you guys today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in Vegas as always. Uh, but the thing you want to do next is you want to go to Google and then you want to type in DaFonts. 
and which is going to bring up this website dafon.com and now we're at this website as you can see and right now you're going to want to uh, decide what kind of font you want so let's say i want the font um let's say thin a very thin font as you can see it's going to bring up a lot of thin fonts as you can see but if you want to have like a preview before you download it you can just go to this preview bar you can you want to type in your name i'm going to type in my name i'm going to press on enter and then you see a preview of all the fonts you see which is and you know how it's going to look so you want to pick the font that you want so i'm just gonna pick um let's say um i'm gonna pick this one thin man and then you want to do is you want to go to the right or you can click on this download button and then this window pops up and you want to just do it with open with with winbar or winzip and then you see this folder now you don't want to extract anything to anywhere you just want to you want to go to this folder you want to click double click on the fonts as you can see this window pops up of course and then you just want to above you want to click on install and then it now it's installing as you can see it has installed then the window disappears and it's installed so the next thing you want to do to make this work you want to close out vegas i'm just going to shut this down i don't want to save it nope now we're going to restart sony vegas right here and then we're going to look if the, if the font is in the actual list but i think it's going to work so let's see we have our vegas open right here as you can see so i'm going to click on titles and text want to drag this one into the timeline then you want to write your name like maybe like i'm just going to write um just alex alford of course like this now we're going to drag it a little bit taller as you can see at the preview screen so we can see it clearly. Then you want to select everything. And you want to go to this drop down menu and you want to press letter T because the you know the font starts with letter T. So I'm going to click on we just press on T. And now we're just gonna look in the list uh, for Thin Man. So we have to scroll all down until we have T H. Three weeks later. Here it is. It's a Thin Man. It says regular, that means like normal, but it's a, it says Thin Man. The font that I have right here in this screen is exact the same as we just downloaded on dafon.com this one and you want to compare it to this one and that's how you install fonts just go to the website download the font you like install the fonts close out vegas restart it and just drag the text file in like i just did and uh, look for the font and then you can actually download um, like a lot of fonts and if you don't want to you know like download all the fonts like one at a time you can just google for like um, like font packs with like because I have like a font pack for like 5,000 fonts so I don't have to like go to Google or something to do that font to look up a new font every time so I have like 5,000 fonts installed you can find those on Google uh, it's completely free so basically that's how simple it is so, so if you want to see more of these Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST there's 9 p.m. CT make sure to subscribe down below and if you find this video helpful feel free to leave a thumbs up down below it's always appreciated as I always say, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to add a face scan to your gameplay. So let's say you want to have, if you have like a commentary of like Minecraft or Battlefield or whatever game you have. And you want to put your face scan uh, like in the corner or something. I'm going to show you guys today how to do that. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so as you can see, I have Vegas open. As always, no shit Sherlock. Today I'm going to show you guys how to place the face cam in a certain place. The first thing you want to do is when you open your editing program, is you want to drag in your gaming footage and for this video i chose um some minecraft so i'm just gonna drag that in some minecraft footage in real quick as you can see right here and as you can see we are just on a on the uh, high pixel server and now i'm gonna show you guys how to add your face cam okay so after you uh put in your gaming footage into uh sony vegas you want to put your face cam also the file you want to drag that also in vegas so i'm going to do that right now i'm just going to open the folder and i'm just going to drag in my face cam as you can see and as you can see right here i have my face cam footage that's basically about the game so what we're going to do now you don't want to have those both files in one video track so you want to have the the actual face cam above your game so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this track create a video track and you want to put this above that so the thing you want to do is you want to drag it right here and as you can see you will only see myself but the thing is you want to click on this little white icon and you just window pops up and then you want to mess around like this this square as you can see 
um, because we are actually gonna we're gonna smile in this footage until it's like how we want it so let's say so you want to put your cursor on this little icon as you can see at the at the, at the corner and you just want to drag that until you like it so let's say i want to have the footage like this and now you, the only thing you need to do is place the footage where you want it okay so let's uh pick a nice place for the face cam let's see we were gonna maybe you're gonna put it right here or something in the corner maybe a little bit smaller because it actually takes a lot of space in the actual get in the frame you want to be able to see everything uh in the game so let's say we want to have our footage right there and basically you want to close this out and actually yeah this is how it looks when you play back the actual game and with with the face scan so it looks like this So that looks pretty good. So yeah, that's that's a way how you can um, add a face cam to your gameplay. But I have to mention though, there is a program where you can also and already put your game and your face cam in. It's called OBS. Believe it or not, I have a series about that. So if you want to check out the video, like how to record games, OBS, really simple because you you don't want to use fraps. That's just crap. Go to the tutorial, check out the uh, OBS tutorial, how to record games. Now you can know how to record games. And when the time goes by, like weeks, I will be uploading more videos every Tuesday about how to do certain things in, in OBS. This is like one way to add a face cam to your video and the other way is just like use OBS, put in your game, also drag in your face cam already so that's already edited and then you can just record that. That's what some of this guys. So if you want to see more of the Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, it is 9 p.m. CET, uh, feel free to subscribe down below and if you find this video helpful, uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. As I always say, thank you guys for watching and uh, make sure to check out the OBS tutorials. It's really going to help you. So I uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex and awesome that you guys are watching this new Sony Vegas tutorial. It is Wednesday, it means a new video for you guys. And today I'm going to show you guys, as you may see in another thumbnail, I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, your footage look like a complete like Hollywood, like real actual movie. Uh, just using some simple uh, pan and crop and some color correction. So I would say let's get started. All right, so as you can see, we're on the Vegas screen, of course. So the first thing is you want to do, you just want to drag in the video file that you want to edit. I'm going to do that right now. I found some like royalty free footage online um so we're actually gonna edit that so as you can see just some regular stock footage some royalty free stuff and i'm gonna show you guys how to make this like scene look or like how to make any scene look like a complete like hollywood movie just using some cropping and some some you know color correction so the first thing you want to do is, you know, all those movies have like those cinematic bars. Um, and if you don't want what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So the first thing is, uh, you just want to click on this little icon which says Event Pan Crop. When you click that, this menu pops up. And you want to make sure that at the left, those two icons are unchecked. The next thing you want to do is you just want to hold your mouse like on top of this. And you want to drag that down until you're happy with it. So as you can see at the right, I'll move it out of the way you will start to see that there will be appearing some black bars. So I'm going to do that right now. As you can see, it is appearing. So I think this looks okay. Okay, so that's it for the uh, cinematic bars. As you can see, if I play it back, it looks pretty good already, but it's not going to be... It needs like this like this final touch, and that is what, something we're going to do with color correction. So now that we have the bars, um, you can actually choose how, like, how big they are uh, by, by just by dragging it, as you can see. I'm just going to place it like this, close it out, and then you want to go to color correction, over at the video effects tab and in the list you want to pick color corrector i'm going to drag that on top of the video track and then this menu pops up and you don't want to mess around with all those uh like those color mixers you want to leave that you just want to a uh pick a um like preset that's already in vegas for you just click on this little arrow that brings up this drop down menu and you want to pick red midtones you're going to click that it seems that it's like a legit hollywood uh, movie so you can mess around with different color correction types i'll play it back and you can ch just choose what kind of color correction you want to use i think this one is a really good one um, but also like this one is a good one um like this one you know this you can choose from the drop down menu as you can see you have, you have a lot of options but i would just choose a red midtones that actually looks pretty good so it actually looks better than than the, the footage before so let's let's have a comparison so let's drag that in so this was what we had first as you can see boom this one and we went from this to this and if you say like okay um a lot of trees are out of the out of the screen 
uh, you just go you want to go go back to event pan crop keep this in the middle and you just want to like drag that up or something like a little bit so you want to see like more of the trees that's what's similar to this guys so, so if you want to see more of the sort of various tutorials every wednesday at 12 p.m pst that's 9 p.m cet uh, feel free to subscribe down below and if you find this video helpful you make sure to smash that like button and as always i want to thank you guys for watching i hope this video was helpful to you so i want to thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next wednesday so until then i'll see you guys very soon so that is it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom so thank you for the continued support if you want to see more content make sure to click right here that's it for today thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow